Hey there, Gerald and Eric here with Pivot Energy and welcome to Going Solar with Pivot Energy. Today we're going to cover the different ways you can finance your commercial solar project. Going solar for your business can be one of the most transformative decisions you make. But we know that figuring out financing your solar project can be intimidating. And that's why this video is all about financing. Spoiler alert, it's much more accessible than you may think. Pivot Energy is a turnkey commercial solar solutions provider. And our team has planned, built, and financed commercial solar projects all around the country. And now we're sharing all of this knowledge with you. One of the most common financing options is a Solar Power Purchase Agreement, or PPA. This arrangement allows for the solar developer, us, to design, permit, finance, and install a solar system on your property for no upfront cost. Companies instead pay for the solar array by paying for electricity produced by the array, typically at a lower rate than they would have had paid the utility, resulting in cost savings. PPAs can range from 10 to 25 years most importantly, the solar developer, as the owner of the system, is responsible for the system throughout the PPA term, including insurance, operations, and maintenance. And since the solar developer receives their payment based on the solar production, it is on their best interest to ensure the system is producing as much solar energy as possible for your business. At the end of the PPA, the property owner can choose to have the system removed or paid by the asset from the solar developer. Another way to finance a system is an operating lease. Operating leases are a great option for a business or organization that may not want to bear the upfront capital expense or do not have the ability to monetize the incentives of the federal tax credit or depreciation due to their particular tax conditions. Operating leases are similar to a PPA in that there is no upfront cost, but it does not involve the sale of electrical power. Instead, with an operating lease, businesses pay monthly lease payments for a specific term for the solar array that is owned by a third party. That third party monetizes the investment of the tax credit and depreciation for the system throughout the lease term. At the end of the term, the system can be sold to the business at a drastically reduced cost. One provider set that at 15% of the total lease amount. Throughout the operating lease term, the business can apply the financial benefits of a reduced electricity bill and the incentives received to make the payment for the operating lease as well as receiving other tax benefits through this model. This can create a cash flow positive project from day one. Operating leases are one of the more popular financial models at this time, particularly because they are similar to other operational agreements that businesses encounter. This makes them easy to understand and familiar to most business owners. Another familiar way to finance your solar installation is through a loan. Pivot works with several approved vendors that have a lot of experience in assisting businesses in accessing loans for solar arrays. Like any loan, there's a set payback time with a set interest rate. Loans like other finance options allow businesses to pay over time instead of upfront for a solar array. There's still typically an overall savings because of the reduction in your electricity bill and with financial incentives. PACE is another potential finance option. PACE stands for Property Assessed Clean Energy Finance. It provides commercial property owners with low risk, long-term financing for energy efficiency, water conservation, and on-site renewable energy installations. PACE structures a private loan as a property tax assessment like sewers or sidewalks, to provide 100% financing for eligible improvements that are long-term, fixed rate, non-recourse, non-accelerating, transferable to tenants, and transferable upon property sale. Since a PACE loan is paid via an annual tax lien, it is considered an operating expense, which allows it to be off balance sheet and easily transferable to tenants. Lastly, PACE allows for building owners to make robust investments in their assets in one transaction, increasing net operating income, preserving capital, and improving asset value. Now that we've covered the most common options, why would you want to finance in the first place? Well, some of the primary barriers to going solar being the upfront cost to acquire a project are an ability to monetize these tax credits. These different financing options remove those barriers. Zero capital outlay, 
off the balance sheet options in particular are seeing a significant uptake from the wide range of companies or organizations we work with. This is not to say that you have to finance. We work with plenty of clients who do not have the funds to invest. The advantage of a cash deal is similar to any other major expense. You typically save more money in the transaction and your payback time is quicker. How will you know which solution is best for you? We'll help you. We offer businesses a free analysis that can help outline different financing options and summarize financial returns, including your return on investment. We include federal and local policies and programs as part of this analysis that reduce your cost. Then, based on what is the best fit for you and your business, we can work with our network of financiers to provide you with that best option. I hope you enjoyed this video on the different financing options for commercial solar. Give our video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell so you're notified when we post our next video. We post videos on the basics of solar energy, solar energy for your business, community solar, and of course, all the ways you can save money with solar, solar incentives, and the changing solar policies. See you next time.